Quicker than a momo, there's no sense for me to quit What you say, we don't know, I'm just trying to reach my goals Heard you snitching, saying it so, you can't hang with me no more What's up guys man, Christopher Dr. Sir and I'm back with another amazing video man Now today, we got when heroes get arrested by dumb cops man This is uh, uh, uploaded by Court and Crime Chronicles It was posted, not sure when, but it already has 950,000, 55,000 views Original video link will be in the description, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. A firefighter in the back of a police cruiser. How'd he end up in handcuffs? He says he was just doing his job. Why is he arresting the firefighter? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, check that out. I stopped to help somebody who's been shot. I'm getting arrested. Usually, heroes get rewarded for what they do, but right. sadly, these heroes get arrested by the police instead, and the reasons why are insane. Here are some instances where heroes Let's ended see. up in jail, starting with this hero who tried to save the victim of a fatal shooting. Thank you for teaching me not to be helpful, you fat On October 9th, hey, 2020, right. Joseph Garces, a retired firefighter, was driving his Jeep in Santa Paula, California, when he spotted a shooting victim named Samir Salgado lying in the parking lot in a pool of blood. Without hesitation, Garces got out of his car and started doing CPR to the victim. Soon after, police officers towel? from the Santa Paula Police Department came to the scene. Don't go to that, no, no, the car. Don't go to that car. Stay over here. Stay over here. Stay over here. Come over here. That's your car? That's my car. I was driving by. I saw it. Okay. I'm not a part of this. We don't know anything about that. We see a gun in the car. You're not going there. Do you have your ID? It's in the car. Oh, he has a gun in the car. Joe Garces. Joe Garces. You got, you got to relax, okay? We know you're helping us out. Wait, but you guys aren't listening either. That's part of the problem. Yeah. So I said we appreciate your being involved, I, I get, okay? I get, I get. We're just running. That's his knife. I took it out of his pocket to cut his shirt okay. off. And that's your vehicle. Yeah, I was driving north. I saw the lady. They were looking this way, and I saw him down, and I thought it was beer or something. Spun around and came in, saw the blood. She said they were calling 911. I screamed, had he been shot? She said, yeah, it was. I was pulling in. Okay. Saw the gunshot wound to the side of his face. Um, oh, the gunshot I did a quick check, the side of his face. found the gun in his waistband, rendered it useless, stuck it inside my car, grabbed his knife, did that. cut off his shirt, and then you guys started showing up. Okay. So he started to kill Did you see anybody no, running, nothing, anybody nothing, leaving nothing, the area, nothing, anything? Nothing. Garces gave his witness testimony to the officer, which was a polite and respectful interaction. Yeah. However, things took a turn for the worse when Detective Rivera from the Santa Paula Police arrived and began to adopt a condescending attitude. Condescending? He's a witness. What the? F relax, relax. Okay. This car. Appreciate it. Huh? He's getting upset. Yeah, and I'm here helping him. So step the f off. Okay. If you're a good detective, you wouldn't be yelling at me right now. You'd be taking care of your job. Oh man. F you. I can't get the f out of here. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. What are you gonna do to me? Get out of my car. See. I'm gonna make you next time. Get out of my car. See. Come with me, Mr. Gar Garces. Mr. Garces. Come with me, Mr. Garces. No wonder people will give you guys the benefit of the doubt. And I work with you for 27 years. When do I get my car back then? Hey, thank you for teaching me how well, to Well, I mean, be given the fact that you put your the gun in your car, it's a part of evidence, right? So, like, now you got to wait. You feel me? Because you put the evidence in your car. You should have sat the gun next to him. Really, you shouldn't have touched the gun at all. You have to stay back. Is step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. I don't know who you're. Oh yeah. So now you're gonna come over with me, huh? You're doing a really good job right now, aren't you? Yeah. He. You need to calm him. I need you to back up. Come here. No. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come here. No. You need to get your hands off him. Take it down a notch. See now. You can take it down a notch. Somebody here is not controlling themselves. Take it down. You. Take it down. No. Be a hypocrite. I've taken a deep breath. It's your turn now. Yeah. Go be a hypocrite. Wanna talk like adults? I'll let you go. Okay, talk did like you start adult. talking to me like an adult? Do you understand how I need to do this? Do you see what you're doing wrong? If you know how to do this job and you have a badge, then you would understand. Now, do you it's want to go so to 148 good. if you so have a badge? Man, so y'all just got to chill, bro. Are you right? tired? Yes. Do you want to go for 148 for being in a crime scene? Just because sergeants let the children know how to do their job, and you were a You're saying your sergeant doesn't know how to do his job? Take him. Turn him around. Because he Where's not listening, bro. What did I say in the other video, bro? It's not about him being a dumb cop. It's about you not listening, bro. I get it. You want to prove a point. 
It's that pride, bro. That pride, bro. Just let it go. It's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep. It was never that deep for you to begin putting handcuffs, bro. I keep saying, but we're you won't listen. Energy. We're adding energy. And you will see it when you do look at the want your energy? car. Do you want me to have to write a search warrant and keep it, or do you want to keep your car? Do you want to get home as soon as possible? I'm not talking anymore. Okay. Sink them. Uh, you should have uh, been. Sink them in uh, six, six, car right 64. Here. What's your first name? Joe. Joe. Hey, check that out. I stopped to help somebody been shot. I'm getting arrested. Garcis was ah, detained bro. in the Keep back of the police him, car for nearly 15 minutes before the detective finally released him. As a this result of this incident, Garcis got a dislocated shoulder and a torn labrum, injuries that needed surgical intervention to fix. Wow. Afterwards, Garcis took legal action against Detective Rivera and the city of Santa Paula, of which As they ended should. up reaching a settlement out of court. Even As though Garces got monetary compensation, he would be hesitant to help someone again in the future. Yeah. However, things turned out even worse for the next hero who would end up regretting his brave actions forever. The guy who pulls the gun isn't the one who goes to jail that night. Exactly. You go to jail. Exactly. On June 27, 2023, Army veteran Matt Solon and Michael Loudermilk, the son of a Georgia congressman, were out with their girlfriends in a bar's parking lot when a man named Dwight Cooper threatened them with a gun. Matt swiftly disarmed and subdued Cooper, forcing him to the ground. He then called 911 after taking the gun away from him. Someone pulled a gun on me. This guy asked for a cigarette. We told him he doesn't have a cigarette. He's drunk and he pulled a gun out on us. I disarmed him. Who has the gun? I have the gun. It's disarmed. It has hollow points in it. It's a Glock. I want you to stand there and I want you to put that gun on the ground, okay? Do not have it in your hand when they pull up. Yeah. Okay, it's on the ground. Okay, tell them the gun's here and point to the ground, but keep your hands to where they can see them. Right. Okay. Thank you. Where did that come from? It came from him bleeding from the head. The guy bleeding from the head? Yes, sir. I'm the I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Okay, do you think people ever lie to the police? Is it possible? I could have got shot today. Yep, me too. That's my job. So, I, mean, yeah, I was in the military for six years. I think I know. I don't mean so nothing, bro. I know exactly what game is. But I'm not armed. You want to test me or frisk me or whatever? You're fine. Just don't move, man. There's no need to do it. Don't go reaching in your pocket, man. Not, you just he literally the said, the "Don't move." Don't be stupid. I understand completely. He literally You're said, "Don't exactly move." Being and now he talking too much. I'm putting him in my car. Sure. Did I do something wrong? I don't know what's going on. We're trying to detain you to figure out what's going on. Does that make sense? Yep, did I do okay. something wrong? Did I do something wrong or no? No, you guys wouldn't even be out here if I didn't call you. Look at it this way, man. Anytime we show up on a call, we have to do what we can for safety reasons until we can safely ask everybody questions. We got one guy with a gun, one guy bleeding, so we detain and we wait till everything calms down. Then we start asking questions and kind of figure out what happens in the scenario, just so you know why you're sitting back here. No, I have no idea why I'm sitting back here. It doesn't explain anything. Well, he told you. I don't know. Yes, sir. Control, I feel like. You had what under control? The whole situation. I had him on the ground. I didn't take care of the ambulance. I had it disarmed. Like, what else did you guys do? All I'm told is that you're the last you one to have the so gun. Much? You started touching your pockets and everything. I asked you not to, and you're like, hey, I'm the hero, or whatever you were saying. Okay, sorry, right, sir. So. I see your perspective. Matt got arrested and was later charged with felony possession of a firearm. Felony later, possession of a firearm? Both the police firearm. chief and Matt spoke to the media and explained what happened that day and the unjust reasons behind his wrongful arrest. In your view, is Matt Solon a hero? During his initial response, that yes, I, I, I agree with that comment. I think when the second act was taken, that's where the lines crossed, where he protected himself and the people he was with, and I commend him for that. Then part two is where he took action beyond that, and that's where he did cross the line. Did that what appear did to be do? punitive rather than defensive? Yes, that's, that's what I saw. But Matt told a different story. I asked over and over and over again, what am I being arrested for? And Officer O'Brien said, he has rights too. The gunman has the rights. The gunman has rights too. He was restrained and you hit him while he was restrained and that's why you're going to jail. And I was like, he's never been restrained. He's, he's not restrained. How long were you in jail? About 35 hours. The guy who pulls the gun isn't the one who goes to jail that night. Exactly. You go to jail. Exactly. He isn't arrested wow. until the next month. No, and he's giving his gun back. They're gonna see and this. And listen, if that was a black guy, people would have been so quick to be like, oh, they only did that because he was black. Black Lives Matter, this, that, and that. This is a white guy. This is a white guy. This is pale skin, blue eyes. This is a white guy. And they, they did that to him. So, so maybe cops are just stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it might not even be a race thing anymore. Like, cops just be doing dumb stuff. Like, that I've been arrested before. For so, a gun-related charge. For a charge. gun-related charge, right? And they're gonna think in their head, oh, this guy just had a good lawyer. He got off it. The district attorney dropped all charges against Matt Solon, saying he acted in self-defense. Right. However, by then, the damage had already been done. If you are enjoying the video so far, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. In this case, the officer's actions yeah, messed up Matt's- Subscribe to Crispy Productions, you know what I'm saying? We just hit 3,000. Gonna hit 4,000 very, very soon, you know what I'm saying? Probably maybe sooner than we hit 4, I mean 3,000, we don't know, but yeah. Good forever. But what they did is nothing compared to what the next officers did. On February 4th, 2014, something unbelievable happened. A CHP Highway Patrol officer arrested Chula Vista firefighter Jacob Gregoire. The Chula Vista well, firefighters like were providing medical aid to victims of a rollover car accident while using their fire trucks to block the road to keep everyone safe when an uh -huh. officer told them to move their trucks, warning them if they didn't, they'd get arrested. Jacob chose to stay, insisting he had a responsibility to the victim and couldn't just leave them. Okay, I don't have time for a cell phone. This is ridiculous. CHP is arresting Engineer Gregoire for where he spotted the fire engine. It's unbelievable. You have to do this. We asked you to clear the road and you said no and you'll get arrested if you're moving it. We're in the middle of patient care with patients on the freeway. They're putting him in handcuffs at this time and walking him away. The chief of the Chula Vista firefighters backed up his colleague's choice, saying that putting the victim's life first was crucial. Jacob was released 30 minutes later. He showed great bravery by putting the victim's life first. But in the next case, another hero faced serious con They arrested they they put him in the back of the police car while there was victims still on the street y'all couldn't have waited to do that after or act of bravery on july 26 so 2017 police officers from the salt lake city police department went to the university of utah hospital to take a blood sample from a victim who was involved in an accident after a vehicle pursued Jesus. by the police during a car chase collided with his vehicle causing it to explode this resulted Jeez. in several injuries and burns leaving the victim in a coma when the officers coma, got there the nurse in charge like alex him. wubbles stopped them from taking a blood sample and the ensuing interaction quickly descended into chaos so i printed this off i was what i was told to print off Brad, I'm just putting on speaker so you can. So, I have this. It says obtaining blood samples for police enforcement from patients suspected to be under the influence. Okay. This was something that you guys agreed to with this hospital. The three things that allow us to do that are if you have an electronic warrant, patient consent, or patient under arrest. And neither of those things, the patient can't consent. He told me repeatedly that he doesn't have a warrant and the patient is not under arrest. Right. So I'm just trying to do the, what I'm supposed to do. That's that's all. So. Okay. So I take it without those in place, I'm not. No, you can't place. get that. Is that no. Am, am I fair to surmise that? The that's nurse. what she said to you, stupid. <laughs> that's what she said to you. So myself, like. That's what she said. From the unconscious patient, citing it was against hospital policy and legal regulations. Right. It was unsurprising that the officers failed to meet the necessary requirements. Their motive for seeking the blood sample was questionable. They sought to determine if the victim had consumed any drugs or alcohol, potentially to justify the car crash as police regulations strongly discourage high-speed chases on busy traffic to avoid endangering civilian lives, a protocol the officers seemed to have neglected, resulting in the crash. Right. I She's the one that has told me no. She's not telling you no. She's not telling you no. She doesn't care about this whole situation. She is relaying to you hospital policy. She's relaying to you hospital policy. She's telling you no because they're not going to let her. Dummy, what are you talking about? Like, what? <laughs> Frustrated about not having his way, the officer did something really shocking. Okay. Oh, please. No, we're done. No, no, no. We're done. You're under arrest. Hey. Get we're him. Done, sir. I had a Get him. What is wrong with him? Seriously. 
territory. Hey. Detective Jeff Payne, who was later identified as the officer in question, forcefully grabbed the nurse slamming her against the wall and handcuffing her simply because she chose to follow the law and protect right. her patient's rights. You know, that's a Soon lawsuit. after, Detective Payne's boss, Lieutenant James Tracy, came to the scene and began to pressure and manipulate the nurse into complying with their demands to give them the blood sample. So the whole, so the whole place is corrupt. You're telling me what your policy is. And I appreciate that you have a no, 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 I know. No, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm being told what to do and what my, okay. I've been told. And what I'm trying to tell you is we wanted blood from this guy. Now, I have talked to people, and there's probably a much better solution that we could have come to, okay? But, what? But all we had to do was the blood, okay? And my point is what? there are civil, if we're breaking the law, if we're doing wrong, okay? Just listen to me. Listen to me. If we're doing wrong, there are civil remedies, okay? If we took this blood illegally, it all goes away, all right? So there's civil remedies if we make a mistake. What I'm telling you is that we are not making this, okay? I've done this for 22 plus years. I know and? what the law is when it comes to search and seizure, all right? And what you have done, because your bosses are telling you to, has been to prevent this officer who was called out to do a job these two officers clearly have serious ego issues. Right. The nurse was eventually released and later so agreed to a five hundred thousand dollar settlement with Salt hey. Lake City and the yeah. University of Utah over the yeah, incident. Now she up. Now she Detective up Jeff Payne was subsequently terminated from his position, yep. and Lieutenant Tracy was demoted two ranks below to Ooh. the role of a patrol officer after internal investigations conducted by the Salt Lake Police Department. Mm. If you like watching true crime that. videos like this they was one, to, they make was sure trying to you subscribe sit over there to see mansplain. more. <laughs> they were trying to sit over here and mansplain to this little girl, talk about some, oh, what you're doing is obstructing justice right now, so I'm going to need you to listen to what I have to say, because yeah, I get that you have a policy, and all that's fine. Like, nah. <laughs> like, like, nah. Now, He's terminated, and now you are a patrol officer. Now you got a lieutenant. Like now, now you got a lieutenant. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Word. But hey, man, that's just what happens, man. I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to see when cops are held accountable for their <sighs> many, many, many mistakes, man. But if you guys like this video, this video, go for a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. Share the video with all of your friends. And it's under some guys. Peace out. When I guess that I finally got me. In a minute, we see paparazzi. Dropping bones on the field, Nagasaki. In the spot, I'm the light of the body. Swear I'm untouchable, can no one stop me. I can't give you my trust, you gon' rob me. Ain't no forgetting whatever you taught me. It's a whole different ball game, man. We all divided, we all.